Labrīt! Welcome! My name is Tuoms and I help remote workers to raise their energy. And today we're joining here for active yoga with Tom's. And active yoga means activating yourself through dynamic movements, slightly less holding postures, more exploring, moving dynamically, warming up our body. As you probably can notice, it's getting a bit colder, winter's coming, so it's useful to get that blood running through some movements. And as always, I try to keep three things into our mind as intention for a class. And I encourage you also to set whatever intention feels more natural for you. So I will share now my three intentions. Number one, smile as often as I can to ground myself into positivity and send the positive signals back to my body. Observing my facial expressions is a part of the second one, which is staying present. So I'm observing my breath, observing my posture, facial expressions specifically to notice if I'm actually enjoying or am I harboring some negative thoughts. And the third and final one is practice balance. So trying to be serious, pay, playful, trying to focus on the task at hand and not taking yourself too seriously either way. And whenever ready, we'll always, as always, open up the class and chanting mantra home with gratitude. So whenever ready, bring your hands up to the sky, reaching up. And with exhalation, bring them down in front of your chest, pray position. Feel free to close your eyes as you take a deep inhalation, preparing for A, O, and M. O. intention set clearly in your mind, open up your eyes and find yourself comfortably in a standing position onto the mat. Ever ready, let's open up the class with some dynamic movements, jumping up. So feel free to just jump up and down. Feel free to introduce some movements, something more fun, maybe even a dance. You can jump on one leg, other leg, and try not to take yourself too seriously. Intention here is to observe your body. Try to make some odd movements, something you don't usually do during your daily life. Also, have some joy and fun as a part of the process and explore your body. Maybe you remember some movements from your school when you did some exercise you haven't done in a while. You can have run, you can jump, or do anything which activates your blood flow and raises your heart rate. Try to loosen up your body as you travel on the mat and try to find places you haven't moved in a while. Focus on your chest, your shoulders. As they drop down, as you keep on jumping, focus on your toes, your knees. What's happening with your knees, with your hips? Well done, let's slowly stop down at the middle and as we're regaining our breath, let's do Tai Chi twists. You can stop, ground your, start grounding yourself, bending your knees slightly as you start moving your hips from side to side. Try to relax your arms 
wrapping around you. Try not to be robot here. This is exactly what you don't want to do. You want to try to relax your arms. Try to notice the difference. With arms completely relaxed, slightly controlled and completely robotic. <coughs> robotic. You can always try to bend your elbow at the very last moment or touching your belly, touching your chest, touching your shoulders and stopping down at the middle. And let's go for sumo squat, separating your legs, two hip width apart. Option one, keep your arms on your knees. Option two, bring your arms up. Option three, do cactus as we're doing breath of fire, which means rapid exhalation through the nose. Inhalations comes automatically and exhaling. Contract your abdominal muscles inward and up. Let's take a deep inhale in. Exhale to the middle and let's start. Take a deep inhale in, reach your hands up, exhalation, bend your elbows into the cactus, inhalation, straighten your legs, reach your hands up, exhalation, bend your knees, bend your elbows into the cactus, sumo squat, inhale up, exhale down, try to keep your chest open, fingers spread, inhale up, exhale down, elbows back, 90 degree angle, inhale up, Exhale down. Inhalation, reach yourself up. Exhalation, forward bend. Halfway down. Spine parallel through on arms and across. Look down, just forward towards your mat. Stay here for three. Try to stretch your arms to the sides. Two. As you smile, enjoying the practice. Into the one. Let's go for a twist. Right hand onto the ground. Left hand up. Reaching up to the sky, stay here for three, two, and one. Let's do the same twist to the other side. Left hand onto the ground, right hand up, reaching up for three. Just three breaths, so try to activate your body. Two, stretching up, and one. Exhalation back into the forward bend. Inhalation, reach your hands. Parallel three round, one more time, or if you want, bring your arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, open up the chest, and go for Prasarita Paratanasana C. Forward bending, arms over your head, choose your option, and stay here for five, four, three. Two and one. Inhalation half up, looking forward, exhalation twist. Either with your both hands parallel to the ground or behind the back. Inhalation back to the middle. Exhalation twist to the other side. Inhalation back to the middle. Exhalation release. Relax. Grab your elbows and swing from side to side as you observe your forward bend here. You can synchronize your movements with your breath. Exhalation to the right. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation to your left. Try to observe your breathing. Observe your body. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. 
Team Health. Excel Post. Inhalation back to the middle. Excel here. Inhalation vertebrae by vertebrae. Back up in the standing position. And with exhalation, step forward towards the beginning of the mat. Let's go for sun salutation, Surya Namaskar A. Keep your feet together, tilt your pelvis forward, abdominal muscles contracted and activated, shoulders rolling back and down, palms facing forward, chin tucked in, top of the head pointing upwards. And with inhalation, reach your hands up to the sky, exhalation forward, then let go, relax, shake your neck. Inhalation, halfway up, spine parallel to the ground. Exhalation, arms around, jump or step into the plank, lower plank, all the way down into the ground. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Open up chest and let's stay here for three. Relax your neck. Two, shoulders back and down into the one. Twist towards your right. Look over your right shoulder from upward facing dog. Optionally, you can always go for cobra or sphinx. Three. Two and one. Inhalation back to the middle. Chin up. Exhalation twist to your left. Looking over your left shoulder. Looking back. Try to keep your chest pushing forward and twisting to your left as you stay here for three, two and one. Inhaling back to the middle. Chin up. Exhalation downward facing dog. Use your knees if necessary. As you enter the downward facing dog with a smile still in your face, reminding yourself your intention of the class. Walk the first dog to gently open up your legs, preparing them for some flexibility, some exercise, some movement, and more freedom in your legs. Relax your neck, maybe make some circles with your chin. This is nice posture where you can release any tension from your neck as you go on walking your dog, which is very important and very active pose. In the same time, also relaxing. Try to find the relaxation here as you bring your chest closer to your knees. As you straighten your arms, bring your sitting bones back and down. And well done, with next inhalation, jump, step, walk forward, with your legs between your hands, lifting your chest halfway up, exhalation forward and all the way down. Inhalation, lift yourself up into the standing position, arms going up, and exhalation, mountain pose. Well done, let's go for two more, inhale up, exhale down, relax. Inhalation, halfway up, spine, parallel to the ground. Exhalation, arms and round, jump or step into the plank, lower plank. Go easy for the first ones as we are warming up the body. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, you can stay in a downward facing dog as always. Feel free to go for a child's pose if you feel like it. Or lift up your right leg off the, off the ground into the three leg dog. Try to keep your hips square, aligned with your ground, straighten your left leg, press your chest, relax your neck and enjoy the posture for four, three, two and one, well done, with exhalation bring your right leg down and with inhalation jump or step forward. Halfway up, spine parallel to the ground. Exhalation forward, then. Well done. Inhaling vertebrae by vertebrae. Gently stand up. Opening up your arms up to the sky. Reaching up like a flower blooming. Exhalation back into the mountain pose. Try to activate and take a breath here. As we're going for last Surya Namaskar A. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Try to keep the pattern of the breath. Don't worry if you're not synchronizing with me. Inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward facing dog. 
feel free to stay here enjoying relaxation or lift up your left leg up to the sky staying here for at least four breaths try to count your breath four but always synchronize movements with your own breath don't worry if you're not synchronized with me all the time three two and one exhaling back to the downward facing dog and with inhalation jump or step forward halfway spine parallel to the ground activating exhalation forward and relaxing inhalation reaching your hands up to the sky exhalation mountain pose let's make a slow version of surya namaskara v inhalation bend your knees chair pose hold the pose for three two and one exhalation forward bend all the way down relax inhalation half up spine parallel to the ground exhalation arms around lower plank inhalation upward facing dog exhalation downward facing dog and from here low lounge or warrior one bring your right leg forward lifting your chest lifting your arms up and let's stay here for five arms reaching up activating your body four three two and one let's go for humble warrior bring your arms behind the back interlacing fingers opening up your chest exhalation forward bend bringing your right shoulder closer to your right knee arms reaching forward relaxing into the forward bend for three two and one inhalation lifting up to the middle exhale here inhalation reach your hands up to the sky exhalation over to the ground step back into the plank lower plank inhalation upward facing dog exhalation downward facing dog let's do the same thing for other side with inhalation bringing your left leg between your arms bending your left knee into the warrior one or low lounge you can bring your arms up to the sky reaching up activating or bring them over to your side wherever you are try to keep them there active and conscious for three two and one exhalation humble warrior arms behind the back interlace the fingers open up the chest lift your arms higher up exhaling forward left shoulder towards your left knee relax here for three try to bring your arms over activating two and one well done inhaling lift yourself up opening up your chest exhalation release your hand inhalation lift your arms up back into the warrior one exhalation lower plank step back bend your elbows touch your chest inhale upward facing dog exhalation downward facing dog you can stay here in a downward facing dog if you want you can go down into the child's pose bring your bend your elbow, knees straighten your arms sitting on top of your heels bring your forehead onto the ground close your eyes and breathe deeply into your belly into your chest inhale exhaling let it go keep on breathing on your own relax and enjoy the relaxation observing your body and with your own time find your way into the easy seated position try 
to keep your eyes closed. Spine straight. And chest open as you observe your body. Try to notice any senses and sensations after the class. Just observe and accept. Remind yourself that accepting doesn't mean that you're completely happy and satisfied. It just means that you're able to observe without denial and rejection. That means that you're able to bravely look into the present facts, present events as they are, without judging, assigning negative meaning to them, or maybe assigning positive. You just observe and notice. And later it's up to you to decide what kind of meaning you assign, positive or negative. Do you want to change it or you feel satisfied with what is present? Gently switch your awareness towards your mind. Same thing here. Just notice and accept your thoughts. Remind yourself one more time what does it mean to you to accept means to me it means to observe bravely present moment what is and then deciding what do i want to do with this information is it useful or not finally third and final round observing our heart you can physically connect with your heart beating inside of your chest as you switch your focus, observing your feelings, your emotions. And if you like challenging and experimenting, try to put a smile on your face, straighten your spine, reaching your top of the head up to the sky, shoulders back and down. And notice, is there any change how you feel. Da je platiški. Ja patīk eksperimentēt. Un izmēģināt jaunas lietas. Kamēr novēroja mūsu emocijas. Iztaisnojam mugur kaut. Atveram krūti. Noliekot plecus uz aizmuguri un uz leju. Zots nedaudz uz iekšu. Un augšas. Un galvas augšdaļa uz augšu. Stiepjamies uz debešu. Debesīm stiepjot mugur kaut. Taisnāk un taisnāk. Un novērojam, lai kaut kas izmainās mūsu emocijās. Un smaidam. Novērojam, lai mūsu smaidam staltai stājai ir kāda ietekma uz mūsu emocijām. And with these observations done, let's finally close the class and chanting mantra om with gratitude. With inhalation, bring your hand up to the sky, reaching up. And with exhalation, bring them down in front of your chest, right position. Take a deep inhale in, into your belly, into your chest. Rub our hands against each other as we observe the sound of home vibrating through our body. Separate your arms a couple of centimeters apart as we open up our eyes, observing energy floating between your hands. Bring your arms in front of your chest, pray position, namaste. Congratulations to you for making it through the class. Hopefully you enjoyed as much as I did. Hopefully you had some fun and you find a way to not to take yourself too seriously and you had at least one smile during the class. 
as always feel free to like this video if you find any value to it i'm always looking forward to seeing your comments your feedback how did you like the class maybe some postures were difficult or maybe i didn't explain some of them carefully enough if you have any questions i'm happy to also mm, i'm always happy to respond to your private messages as well if you have any questions and you want to work with me privately as always i wish you a magical day in front of you subscribe to these videos if you want and see you on the next one Mm-hmm.